Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. And then honestly, when I first saw this headline, I was very, very pumped about it. I have honestly been wanting Dave Batista to return to WWE for a good long time. It's almost been a year now. It's probably been on 11 months uh, since Batista left after the uh, Evolution versus the Shield angle ended. Everybody can remember that uh, the beginning part of Monday Night Raw, you saw the uh, blow up of Evolution uh, with Triple H and Dave Batista having a disagreement on what was going on with the team. Batista wanted a title shot. Orton wanted a title shot. And next thing you know, Batista just quit the company in order to go out and promote uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. And of course, the rumors at that point was that uh, Batista was going to take a month, maybe two months off and be back at it. And Batista hasn't been back since. Honestly, I'm really surprised that when Batista pops up on the Wizard World uh, signings and uh, pictures deal, um, he's actually going to be coming here to Sacramento, California in June, something that I'm really, really pumped for. I had to do a lot of backstage finagling uh, at my work in order to make sure that I can get this day off. It turned off that not one, not two, but three people needed to have this day off at work. And I was number four. I drew the really, really short stick. Turns out that I'm able to uh, go to this because I'm going to be opening up and I'll be able to leave the store and able to head off to, to downtown Sacramento. It's not often that a big star like Dave Batista comes back um, and actually comes to your hometown. I mean, honestly, if I thought about Wizard World last year, we got Seamus and uh, that was it. Uh, and this year, somebody like Dave Batista coming to town is really a big deal. I guess when it comes down to it, Batista is still under WWE contract, even though he just doesn't show up to work. I don't know if the writers are too lazy um, to write him into the show and ask him to come in, or if maybe just they're actually calling him and, and saying, hey, will you come in and do this? And he just hears what they have the plan for him, and he just says, no, <laughs> I don't like that. I'm not doing it. Uh, in this article, uh, Batista says that if he does come back to WWE, which he does want to, he wants to work a part-time WWE schedule. And he was really jealous of the schedule that Chris Jericho recently just worked, where he just worked house shows. He says he doesn't like being on television because he doesn't like being locked into scripts, which he doesn't feel like WWE is really putting out a good script as of right now. If you can remember, when Batista came back for the, for the run from the Royal Rumble up until... Um, WrestleMania 30, he was guaranteed the moon. He was guaranteed to win the Royal Rumble. He was guaranteed a main event WrestleMania. He was guaranteed to win at WrestleMania and have a good uh, title run uh, lasting him until he needed to leave for Guardians of the Galaxy as a way to sort of, you know, say that he was one of the best. And uh, when it came down to it, the fans weren't having any anything of it. And however, WWE talked Batista into uh, giving up that spot and that they were going into a different direction had to have been one of the hardest, conversa uh, hardest conversations for the person who ever had to deliver it to him and probably one of the hardest ones for him to take. Uh, Batista was a big, huge star in wrestling and he left um, to, to go chase his dreams. You know, he went out and he wrestled an MMA fight that wasn't that good, uh, but at least he's able to say that he did it. Um, he was able to, to leave wrestling once again, make a big movie, and now this guy's a big, huge movie star. I know that people say that he's going to be one of the uh, leading villains in the next James Bond movie. The fact is that uh, when the trailer came out for it, I watched it to just see him and see how his role was going to be, and he wasn't in it. Uh, I don't know if this was sort of an Eva Marie move, where basically Dave Batista is going to be a villain in the movie, but... Is he going to be like the first villain in the movie that tries to wrong James Bond? And next thing you know, Dave Batista's killed within you know two minutes of the movie. And we don't see him again. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I know that when the last James Bond movie came out, people made a big deal about uh, Denise Richards uh, being a Bond girl. And Denise Richards was probably in the movie for maybe about 90 seconds. And uh, that was it. People made a big fuss about nothing. Um... But I do know that Guardians of the Galaxy was a big, huge production. I think WWE really dropped the ball on that. I think everybody's heard the backstage rumors about, uh, you know, basically Guardians of the Galaxy uh, came to WWE to be promoted, and they sort of highballed them. Uh, they asked for way more uh, um, uh, of the charge for the ad rates uh, than they would normally charge other movies. And instead of really promoting it as Dave Batista, WWE superstar does good in a big movie, um... They didn't do that, and at the end of the day, Guardians of the Galaxy was a huge uh, success without the success of the WWE trying to push it. I don't know if this you know, came down to it of uh, Marvel versus WWE Films or whatever the politics was behind it, but you know, Dave Batista is the guy that you're trying to make happy. He is a big star. You put him on more shows. Those shows are going to do more money. Um, 
I understand why Batista didn't get the WrestleMania uh, the, the WrestleMania win at WrestleMania 30. Um, it just sucks that you know whatever happened to Daniel Bryan happened. Um, if all those you know, you know those bad things that happened with his neck injury, with his father dying, you know maybe uh, when it comes down to it, we got that awesome moment at WrestleMania 30 with Daniel Bryan actually winning the championship. But who knows what would have happened if Batista would have won the championship? But then we wouldn't have got those awesome Evolution versus Shield matches at um, Payback and at. Uh, uh, Extreme Rules last year. I mean, those really, really stole the show. One of them was in the middle of the show, but it was probably the best match of the night. The other one ended up being the main event because of the Daniel Bryan injury. So, um, We'll have to see. I'm really looking forward to this. I, I got the uh, Dave Batista autograph signing at Wizard World coming up in, uh, near the end of June. Uh, I believe it's June 20th. So if you're in the Sacramento area, I'm going to be getting there probably around the time that Batista is actually starting signing for the VIPs. So uh, I'll probably be in the back of the line. Uh, but we'll see what goes down with that. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Peace out and see you around.